Today, let's show you how to create your very first audiogram using the Headliner app. That's all coming up next. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today's video is brought to you by Headliner.app. It is the application that I am using to create all of my audiograms for my podcast and my client podcasts as well. If you haven't checked them out, I encourage you to do so. Head on over to Headliner.app. The link is down in the description below of this particular YouTube video. And of course, head on over to their YouTube channel and su subscribe to their channel. You can find a link up here in the card on YouTube and uh, hit that card tap it and then of course you can subscribe to their channel immediately right there and they have a lot of great tutorials up there on how to use their particular application so in today's video we are going to share with you a tutorial my own tutorial of how I use headliner to create my own audiograms for my own podcast now just as a recap if this is your first time coming to this video and seeing it for the very first time I want to recap there are three other videos that you can watch prior to this one in the first video I talked all about social media basics and what we do to promote our podcast using audiograms uh, I would recommend that you go on over there and you check out that video if you have not had a chance to check it out and get some very basic ideas of social media in video number two I share with you my particular process of when I go through and I'm in the middle of editing my podcast but not only the edit process but I'm also uh, creating an finding the right audio clips for my audiogram so head on over to video two and check that out and then of course in video number three I shared with you how to create the perfect I wouldn't say it's the perfect but something that is similar to I guess being perfect it's not perfect all the time but it's a it's a great way to create an image for your audiogram if you're not familiar with Photoshop or Illustrator or any other photo editing app I use a particular program called Canva and today we are going to jump back into Canva and also use headliners application and I'll show you how those two match up so we're going to jump back into the computer right now and let's take you on over to Canva and since last video I have gone ahead and I've re-edited my uh, image of my friend Kyle and uh, you can go ahead and see it here whenever you jump into your designs you would just want to go ahead and click on your design here's my design for the swing shift side hustle we're gonna go ahead and click on that and uh, we are taken to uh, my Canva editing page all right now I want something I want to keep in mind I want you to keep in mind when it comes down to this you don't have to use my template um, exactly you can be creative um, with your own style uh, when it comes down to creating your own uh, audiogram uh, image uh, this certainly is just a way that I do it I am no graphic designer like I mentioned in, pre in the previous video but this is something that works for me and I think that it helps with the branding of my own podcast as well so just understand that you can create your own style within Canva Photoshop Illustrator however and make it even better and I would recommend that you jump into Instagram go back to video one to learn how to look for hashtags and you can find if you go look for the hashtag audiograms you can get an idea and maybe some creative ideas of how other people are creating their own audiograms so we're gonna jump back in here and we're gonna see that we have our image here with uh, Kyle Kolsch and it's pretty much done all right so the next thing that I need to do is I need to go ahead and download this to my desktop or into my computer somewhere so while you're in Canva all you need to do is just come on over here to the desktop download button and you want to download it as a PNG all right download it as a PNG <clears throat> we already have our dimensions so we don't need to worry about that if we need to understand about dimensions go back to video number three to learn all about this we're gonna go ahead and download and Canva is gonna prepare it and it's going to uh, put it in my downloads folder that's where I have my particular uh, image so if I jump on over to my downloads folder there it is there's my image of Kyle all right the next thing we want to do is we want to come on over and we want to jump into headliner so I'm just gonna go in and just uh, type in headliner.app and it takes us into uh, their landing page of the very first uh, thing that you will see. All right, a couple things that you need to know about Headliner is that Headliner is free for you to use. It's free to sign up for, and you, you can create as many audiograms as you want. So uh, sign up, make sure you go on over to sign up. I already have an account, so it's gonna take me directly to the back end of my particular account, all right? And so the first thing that you're going to see are these uh, different ways you can create videos, okay? You have, and if you fly over each of these cards, it's going to show you exactly what there are. You can create, there's an audiogram wizard where you can create a, a clip up to 10 minutes. Um, 
you could take an article from your blog and you can have it created into some type of audiogram. You could take videos and have the transcriptions show up into captions. Uh, and then there's just so much more. OK, so you can you can definitely explore with this. Uh, so what we're going to do first is that we want to go ahead and create an audiogram uh, with the clip that we've created with my friend Kyle. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clip the, uh, click on this very first one that's blue. And what uh, headliner is asking me to do here is the first step and it's pretty self-explanatory says select audio and you see these step-by-step -step, uh, instructions that are going to be up here all right first step is that we need to select audio all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a piece of audio that I've already uh, created with my buddy Kyle so uh, I know that it's in my iCloud drive I'm gonna jump on over to wherever it is where my audiograms are let's click there and then of course we need to find Kyle there's Kyle <clears throat> and forgive me if this clip has some cuss words in it. It might have some cuss words in it, but um, this is just really for the sake of example. All right, so I'm going to drag this in and drop it and the audio is now selected. So what we're going to see here is that do we want the audio to be transcribed? Yes, it's going to be turned on. We want it to be turned on. This is going to be a really great way to get people to click on your audiogram because uh, seeing captions with uh, revealing text will will really want people to know more and hear more what's going on behind the scenes. All right. Uh, you could pick your transcription language and then uh, what you would want to do is click next. So we're going to go ahead and click next and you're going to be taken to the actual audio uh, waveform that you have pulled from your podcast. All right. Now, what the, the beauty behind this entire uh, layout right here is that if you have a clip that's say like five minutes long, but you only wanted a piece of the clip, you can definitely do editing inside of here as well. So if you wanted to select a certain part of the, the waveform, uh, you can come on down here and you can see that Twitter allows two minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, Instagram allows one minute, like I mentioned in video number one. Uh, Instagram stories are only 15 seconds and there's a couple little hacks that I can share with you of how you can create stories that are um, longer than 15 seconds all right uh, snapchat 10 seconds and then of course here's uh, Facebook with 10 uh, 10 minutes all right so what we've done here is that this clip right here is basically one minute I've gone through my podcast and I've looked for the clip that I want to be 10 or one minute and so I don't really need to do anything within this clip all right <clears throat> the clip is pretty much set for itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl click next now if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about I recommend that you go to video number two to check out how I pulled my clips for my audiograms all right so I'm gonna go ahead and click next and you'll see here that you're taken to a different uh, to a different screen where it sh um, it's asking you to pick a specific aspect ratio for the image. So since we have created an image that is going to be square, we want one to be square. Now, if we went into Canva, we wanted to make it landscape. Uh, you might want to take notes on this, but landscapes might uh, the dimensions for that might be 1280 by 720. And then in portrait, it would be um, 720 by 1280. It's just it's just the opposite of, of uh, landscape. But in square, it's going to be either 800 by 800, 1200 by 1200. Uh, the higher the resolution, the clearer the, the picture is going to be. All right. So as you can see here, it says square best for Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. So we're just going to go ahead and click next. All right. Next, we're taking to this uh, waveform screen. It says uh, customize your audiogram. So you can customize the type of uh, um, waveform that you have here and the color. All right. Another thing that you can uh, do is you can adjust by by coming over into this where it's all dotted line. It's a, it's a dotted line and you can adjust how big you want the waveform to be. I typically have mine at full length or a full width and then um, what I do is I come over here to the wave type and I always pick bricks. All right. And <coughs> excuse me. And my color is always going to be blue because my, it's just naturally how it worked out. My podcast has blue colors, but you can pick, you know, different colors that you want. You know, you could pick like an orange, you could pick a green, a red, whatever you want. So let's say for the sake of example, we're just going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's say we're going to pick, a like that one looks kind of like a reddish right there. Let's go ahead and do red. Like, well, maybe, well, maybe a yellow. Let's do a yellow, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pick a yellow. And then what's be a beauty about this is that you can go ahead and you can drag the waveform within this. Now, I know it doesn't make sense right now, but what we need to do is we need to add a background image. So let's add our background image, and then you'll see why I created my image in video number three the way I did. So we're going to find that image of Kyle. We're gonna open it and you're taken to this crop style. So you don't need to crop anything. 
um, if you've done it inside of Canva. Now, if you pulled in an image and it wasn't cropped to the specific dimensions, you could definitely crop by coming to the corners and cropping this out for yourself or moving the square around. But we don't need to do anything in here, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and click crop and there is my image. So that's what it's gonna look like um, as the as the final image, all right? It's gonna have these waveforms. Now, I probably wanna move these waveforms down or these bars and let's go ahead and uh, create the project. So we're gonna go ahead and create the project and Headliner is gonna upload the audio, it's gonna upload the, the image itself and then what it is also doing, it is also transcribing the audio for you so we can use the transcriptions of the audio to lay over the image so that whenever people look at the video itself, you can see that there's an actual um, uh, you know, transcription that is being uh, written out right there, okay? So as you can see here, it's still loading. My internet is slow at my house for some reason. I don't know why it's really slow today, but um, it's actually been pretty slow for the past couple of uh, days. I don't know, understand what's going on. As you can see here, it's pretty much uh, set. There is my image, and you're taking and you're given this waveform. Uh, you're, I'm sorry, not waveform. You're giving, you're giving this, I guess, uh, editor where you can go in and you can now start editing your headliner um, image, all right? Now, one thing that, a couple of things that I want you to be aware of first, and these are just things that are coming off the top of my head. Let's say you wanted to change the color of the bars that you had created in here. One thing that, that really uh, kind of, I don't know, it just really tripped me up in the beginning is that I, I was trying to figure out how to change these waveforms. So what do you do is you go ahead and you click on the actual layer that has the waveform. So as you can see, it says audio on the left-hand side. This is the media, so this would be the image. And then this could be any text that you want to overlay on top of what's already going on right here, all right? So let's go ahead and click on audio. And you can see here, I can change the color or I can change the position if I wanted to. Padded bottom, I could say um, I want it in the middle, I want it in, you know, uh, I want it at the top, you know, or you could just move it around if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna leave it where it is, but let's say I wanted to change the color to an actual blue color, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and change it right there and we're good to go and you can save it and then headliner is going to save that and then you can see that the the waveform or the bricks are now changed a different color okay remind yourself to do this every single time that that uh, you, if you want to change that you have to come in and you have to click on the audio form itself Next, the next thing you need to do is you need to rename this file. So up here on the top left hand corner you want to say let's click on that and we're gonna say this is Kyle audiogram and you're pretty much set to go, and this will always save automatically, okay? So if we were to go ahead and press play on this, and you can see that right here, there are captions uh, for this particular video. Now, I like to have my captions on top of my waveform bricks, um, because uh, you know it shows that there is movement, but I don't want the waveform bricks to be the prominent thing. I want the, the captions to be the prominent thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and press play. How do you define living like a musician or rock star these days? Uh, these days, I mean, you do everything you can to try to make this your job. Okay, so now you can see that there, these captions are are now, or these transcripts are now matched up with the particular um, audio that, that is playing. So if there's a chance, and there's likely going to be the chance where audio is going to be um, misconstrued or it's going to uh, the headliner is going to say oh this is what this word uh, sounded like so we're just gonna go ahead and insert it you have to go back and you can go back and edit how these particular transcripts look so if we were to come back to the very beginning of this and we go okay let's press play and it, he's I'm going to say how do you define living like a musician uh, like a musician a rock star these days uh, I mean uh, you do everything you can to try to and so that would be Kyle talking so what I would do here is you can hear the nuances where I could have a comma, where there could be like, you know, a space or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play here. You could press play here too as well. How do you define living like a musician or rock star these days? Uh, these days, I mean, you do everything. So in this case, this is how do you define, so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna type in Shannon, because it's me. How do you define living like a rock star, comma, or a musician, comma, a rock star these days? Um, and then we're going to go ahead and press question mark. And then I'm going to say Kyle because Kyle's the next person that speaks. So let's go ahead and hear what he has hear how this works and look at how do you define living like a musician or rock star these days? Uh, these days, I mean, you, <clears throat> so you hear that you see that the, the transcription is flipped over a little bit. 
So you would want to go back into your timeline. You want to, you would want to, you would want to adjust that time before it switches to the next transcript, okay? So Positional rock star these days. Uh, these days, I mean, you do everything you can to try to make this your job. Oh, well, it looks like, actually, it looks like it was just trying to catch up. So we can go ahead and go back and let's just listen to it again. How do you define living like a musician or rock star these days? Uh, these days, I mean, you do everything you can to try to make this your job. So you can see the transcription is off just a little bit. You would just want to go in and you would want to edit this up and you would want to insert whatever he said if you wanted to say things verbatim for you, okay? So you would go through and uh, <clears throat> you would want to go ahead and make sure that every piece of the audio is matching up with the transcription and making sure that it works, okay? Now, if you ever need to extend a piece of a transcription out, what you can do is you can come in here and you can uh, choose like maybe this go this piece of the transcription says make this your job as opposed to then they mean it now. Let me see here. They mean it now. You need to find different avenues. I guess uh, for sure, like other, it really doesn't make sense, obviously, but uh, it makes sense probably in the context. Let's say the transcription went away early and we needed to extend it out a little bit. What we would want to do is we want to come over here and let's say we just wanted to add an extra second on top of that. Or, and then we would want to change that to an extra second. Or maybe we say here it's going to the next transcription is going to start at 13 seconds and you want this to start at 13 seconds. 13. Zero, zero. Okay. So make sure that you're making, make sure that every piece of the transcription and the time coding is in order so that it can have a smooth transition. So if we were to come back and we were to look at this real quick and we were to play this clip, this your job as opposed to then, I mean, it, now you need to find different avenues, I guess, for sure. Like other, aside from just your music to like, so you see there it says aside from your other music and we stopped at 12. 1297 and it's 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 a blank screen right here so make sure that you're matching up the time codes as best as you can so the transcription can show up on the screen um, at the same time it's going to take a little bit of practice but it, it is possible to make this happen and you're going to go through this and do this through the entire one minute of the video okay now once you've gotten this all down you can definitely change the style of uh, the text if you wanted to if, if, if this is something that that you're like oh I want the I want the text to look a little bit different. So what we can do is we can come on over here and we can look at the style and look at the custom styles here. And you can see that there's a style here. Maybe you want, maybe you want it uh, bold or maybe you want it to be like right there. See, there, it just changes the different styles or maybe you want it italicized and it'll just change the different, uh, the different, uh, I guess, fonts for you, okay? Uh, this will change the timing. Um, so you have to understand that when you're going to make a font change, it will change the timing. So you're gonna have to go back. I just leave it as default. So just leave it as the default and you'll be okay, all right? But if you really have to have the font changed out, you can do that as well. All right, so once you're pretty much done here, um, you can add in a additional media if you wanted to, but we're just talking about creating a, an audiogram for Instagram itself, all right? So let's say we've gone through and we've we've adjusted our transcriptions and we've made our, our, our necessary uh, changes and we've matched up the time codes. Everything should be okay. The next thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna come on over here to export and you'll wanna go ahead and keep the frame rate at 24 uh, high quality video and it's a square okay do you need an intro and an outro not really and of course if you want to add the headline or watermark to the video you can I uncheck it but you could just go ahead and uh, uncheck it if you want to and then you would want to go ahead and click export now this is going to export and it's going to show up here on the right hand side uh, that the video is being generated. It's gonna take some time for this video to um, be created. And so you could definitely get up and you could walk away and you can go get like lunch and come back and it will be ready. Honestly, if you're doing a one minute clip, it's only gonna take about maybe maybe a minute, minute, maybe two minutes to get this, uh, uh, this video ready to go. So as you can see right here, it's pretty much almost done, all right? Once it's done, you will get be presented with a link where you can download the actual audiogram. As you can see right here, it says download here. 
And then one other thing is that you'll get an email notification into your inbox for whichever email you've provided with in Headliner, and it will tell you that your audiogram is ready. So if you are doing 10 minute videos, it might take longer to render those videos out uh, later on down the line. And then of course you can get an email notification as to when your video is ready. All right. So let's go ahead and get it. And we're going to go ahead and uh, download it here. So a new window is going to be uh, opened up. And you can see here's the video. This is what it's going to look like online. So if we press play, how do you define living like a musician or rock star these days? Uh, these days, I mean, you do everything you can to try to make this your job. So that's what it will look like. OK, now there are these different share URLs that you can have where you can upload it to your drive. Um, but what I typically do is I just download the video because I'd like to keep the videos for myself. All right, because it depends on how I'm going to share out the video onto social media. So once this video is downloaded, it's going to share it's going to share into my uh, my download folders. As you can see here, let's go ahead and uh, come to my download folders and you can see it's, it's being made right there. It's being downloaded. So it might take some time to be downloaded because my uh, my Internet is very slow. But once it jumps into the downloads folder, then you're ready to start sharing it out onto social media. You could share it out on, on Instagram. You could share it out onto Facebook. Um, I believe you could even share it out onto Twitter with the square screen. So it's going to be completely up to you. Now, some things that I think you should be aware of and when it comes down to creating these videos um, is that you can create 15 second inc increments for say uh, Instagram video, but let's say there is an, a, a clip that is one minute long and you want to share it as a story. Okay. You can achieve this, but what I recommend that you do is that you find your audio clip, find the one minute of, of the clip, and then you're going to create the image inside of Canva, which is going to be 720 by 1280. It's going to be in portrait mode. And then you create your image that way. All right. Match it up. Put it in the headliner and then download it. Now there's an application that you can use um, where you can chop up your video by 15 seconds. Just a quick update. Now I do know that there's yeah an app that you can use, but you actually really don't even need it, especially if you have an iPhone. Uh, there's a new update to Instagram that will allow you to go ahead and upload your Instagram story into their platform, and Instagram will parse out the one minute story into 15 second increments. So it'll do all the work for you. So make sure that you use that tool when you create your audiograms for your podcast. And I certainly hope that this video has helped you out and shows you kind of my process of how I create my own audiograms for my podcast. If you have any questions whatsoever, if there's anything in this video that I maybe missed, leave a comment down in the section below and I'm sure I missed something and I'm sure that maybe I might have flown over something that, that I didn't quite explain very much. I will go ahead and answer those back for you in the comment section down below and I'll try to help you out the best way that I can. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button when you're down there on the thumbs up and uh, hit the bell button and get notified when I release a brand new video for uh, my YouTube channel on podcasting is all here to help you out. And of course, if you're a brand new podcaster and you're just jumping out of this video for the very first time and you're still not sure of how to jump into podcasting, what I recommend that you do is you head on over to my website, the shanman.com and download my essential equipment guide. In fact, the link for that is down in the description below and I'll go ahead and leave a card up here so that you can go ahead and uh, download that uh, guide for yourself. It's completely free and it'll give you an idea of how to start your podcast. In the meantime, I hope this video series on how to use Headliner and their application to create and promote your podcast has helped out. In the meantime, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.